All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, so we have something here um, a little bit interesting. Uh, we have a special Battle Hour Summon. Uh, I guess this does make a ton of sense, uh, considering global... I mean, they have to be sitting here, and they have to realize, like, okay, like, 17, 18, like, aren't really that good, and their banners aren't enticing, and Ribrian's aren't really that good, and our banners aren't enticing, and Gohan and Piccolo are, def are definitely solid, definitely decent, but their banner's not that enticing. Uh, Saiyan Day, for sure. Right, we'll, we'll probably have some great grand character. We're gonna have LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku on the banner. Like, like it's got some good stuff, but this... Um, the, 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 this, the, the, this is pretty good. Uh, this seems like this is going to be actually quite strong, um, for global players right here. So, uh, you'll be able to do, uh, one round only, three multis, and you get one free multi, and a featured SSR guaranteed on the free summon. So, let's actually go ahead and jump over here. Um, okay, and then let's go, no, wait, wait, did I hit... No, I didn't hit global. I'm a, I'm a silly billy. Okay, global. Yeah, let's go to global. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. And then also uh, a speed battle event came out because obviously that's going to be at uh, battle hour as well. So we have this. Um, again, there's going to do the three multis to get one free. Um, 50 stones are required to do the first three. And then the fourth is free. And then you're guaranteed to recruit an SSR character. Um, step one to three. Featured SSR character is guaranteed in step one. Four. So how this is uh oh this is only up till the fourth. Hmm. Because it's like, you know, I make a tweet like recommending players summon on this. I, I guess it's fine anyway, but like, you know, in order to get the real like the true value of this, you're going to need a hundred and fifty stones. 150 stones, and then you'll be able to get the guaranteed featured character. Uh, let's take a look at what we've actually got in terms of what's on the banner here. So here's the actual banner. Um, so we have, uh, what do we have? Four Carnival LRs, Sword of Hope Trunks, Future Gohan, Metal Cooler, and then the Tech Super Saiyan Goku. Um, we have Gohan and Krillin, Trunks and Goten. It's just kind of like regular, like, like you know, unfeatured banner characters. And then we have Goku and Piccolo, Angel Golden Freeze and 17, Angel, Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and then LRUI Goku kind of rounding out the last options here. In terms of featured, it goes up to Super Trunks, who just came out on Global. So all, all essentially all of kind of like the unfeatured characters um, are actually present on the banner here for Global. Um, now, the major reason I do think this is worth it, of course, is these top two characters right here, uh, Sword of Hope Trunks and LR Future Gohan. Now, the thing that's very interesting about this, I mean, we could start to talk about some a little bit of, like, ninth anniversary mechanics here, um, which I know is obviously a little bit premature for Global, but these things are going to come to Global Dokkan as well. Um, right now, they're, in, they're introducing new territory skills into Dokkan, right? It's a skill that bosses will have that might either give them big-time effects or... Or take away uh, from some some of the abilities you have, right? Like it's it, it's going to be something like you know um, the boss gets an extra three hundred percent attack and defense, right? Like you know the boss gets an extra fifty percent damage reduction, just so, things like that. Uh, and then one of the ways you could cancel the boss territory skills is by utilizing domains. So domain characters seemingly are about to take a pretty big leap. So, uh, LR, uh, Fusion Zamasu, LR Future Gohan, and then potentially the free-to-play Trunks, um, might be significantly better. I I'm sure, uh, you know, we'll see what these territory skills are gonna look like once bosses actually have it and stuff like that. But I'm sure that we're going to see, uh, bosses show up where their territory skills are so overwhelming that, like, it's like you have got to get a domain up to, to cancel it, like, as fast as possible. That's going to be a thing. So, future Gohan, even though he was already one of the best characters in the game with his huge damage reduction, his huge ability to do, to do damage, right? Gohan, he should age very well. Not as potentially, like, a slot one character like LR Golden Frieza, but future Gohan, throughout the duration of this... <clears throat> it's going to be incredibly difficult for him to take damage. 
at like it, like 80% damage reduction, it's going to be very difficult, right? And then all the defense he has after super attacking, um, and then he gets defense from both of his uh, super attack effects right there. Uh, this guy is going to be ultra mega super tanky forever moving forward. So um, this guy showing back up and making an attempt at him could be pretty good. Uh, I do like Sword of Hope Trunks. Um, this guy is, is very, he, he's had a very strange history. He went from overly heavily downplayed to like a comical degree. Uh, these days I see more, I think, overration of him than anything, but he is still very good, right? I, I think he's a, just a nice, strong character. Um, he has like, you know, doesn't really have key issues. Um, you know, he doesn't really have restrictions or anything like that. He just is what he is on a million different teams and teams that could use the help, right? Like I do find myself, I mean, it speaks to a character and how they're good when I can't stop putting them on my team, right? And I think that counts for this character. You could say that about like, you know, Gohan and Piccolo, obviously something like LR Bulma, right? Like if the character is really that good to where I'm, you know, I'm team building going into some event and it's like, I like, you know, I, I gotta, gotta throw them on right here. Like it's, you know, it, it matters. Um, this guy is obviously mega elite once you get to uh, his sort of hope transformation. But of course it's, I really hate what they did with this for future Gohan, Trunks, Vegito, and Zamasu, right? For all of them, it's not just turn five, it's their fifth turn. So if they show up on turn one, you could do it on turn five. Awesome. But if they show up on turn two, it's turn six. If they're in slot seven, it then becomes turn seven. Um, you know, it, it, it certainly can be uh, very agitating. But um, doing these summons and then getting either of these characters, I think, would be pretty good. Um, and again, one of the main reasons I think summoning on this should, you know, be fine is we're not expecting anything showing up on Global um, of any note for two months, essentially, right? So I do think that this should be fine right there. Um, in terms of the other characters, Tech Carnival Goku is still solid-ish. Um, it, it's like he doesn't really do much damage at this point. Defensively, he sucks, mostly. Uh, maybe against Omega, he could be fine defensively. Um, but he mostly sucks defensively. But he is a revive character. Revive characters are ridiculously good for numerous reasons. Um, and this guy, you know, you can't, like... He is a revive character. He is not replaced as a revive character on every single team he's on, right? So this guy does still have value if you pull him and need him. Uh, LR Metal Cooler, I am really down on. I mean, you can definitely use him. He is more of a dismal future red zone character to me. Like one of these short and sweet fights, I think is where Metal Cooler potentially could help. The longer the fight, the more chances, I think, of Metal Cooler completely sabotaging your run. He is a character who does almost virtually nothing besides revive, but even his revive is not as safe as I would like it because of the fact that he only revives if he himself is killed. Um, I think that this character would have had a much different shelf life moving forward if his revive condition would, could just be at, like... He just didn't have a revive uh, condition, right? Like, it was active for the entire rotation at all times with him. I don't see why they couldn't have done that either. I, it would have... He would be much better. Um, and he he would definitely be, a, I think, a much stronger option as well. But not really too crazy there. Uh, then we have LRUI Goku. This guy is potentially, like, a top 10 unit in the game with his EZ over on JP. Uh, Global should be getting this guy... Um, it, it should be with the exact same time frame as uh, uh, JP Dokkan. So Global should be getting this guy somewhere around like July 2nd, July 3rd, July 4th. In that range is when this UI Goku should come out on Global Dokkan. And he, of course, again, is very, very good. Uh, this character just sucks. They're a complete zero. They're losers. Uh, they uh, probably are coming up on an EZA, but I mean, I can't say for sure when. Um, this Vegeta, he sucks, he's terrible, he's a loser. Again, he's definitely in range of getting an EZA with any celebration, though. And LR EZAs have been substantial, uh, basically throughout the last year, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, then we have the LR, Goku, and Piccolo right here. Uh, they suck, they're fodder. Uh, we're probably not going to see them EZA for quite a while, too. 
Uh, you know, it's like the 17 and Golden Frieza, maybe, because they're a January of 2021 release. Oh, well, actually, they're February of 2021. Um, and then we know that the 6th Anniversary Part 1 LRs, UI Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta, they're going to actually EZA, you know, next month for JP Dokkan. So we are going to start to move into 2021, but Goku and Piccolo as a July, or no, excuse me, they're June, June of 2021 release, um, they might still be a ways off before they EZA. And I would say this character, by the time this character EZAs, very likely to me, Global and JP are synced. Um, but but th th this unit should be a ways away, because remember, right now on JP, the most recent EZA character is STRUI Goku, who is in June. So we're still a year off at this point from this character, like like the furthest, most uh, EZA. Um, now, you could point out that sometimes they would go super far ahead to do an EZA. And that is true, but for major celebrations. I do not see any scenario where this character, this movie one dragon ball z the first dragon ball z movie character easy a's during the dragon ball super celebration i don't see it um and then last we have these two uh, they just suck they're just complete losers in every single way uh it is it, it it does us no good whatsoever talking about them in any way or any fashion they just both are terrible so there we go uh, let me know what you guys think. I do think doing this is good. Even if you can't get the 150 stones to get the free multi with the guaranteed featured character, um, I do think you're probably going to have more value summoning for this. I mean, you do have... Because, okay, let's look at the featured lineup, right? So these two are elite god options. UI Goku is too, but, I mean, it's like you get him now, and then he becomes a god in July for global, right? So you could say you have three elite options. Carnival Goku is 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 good. I, I would just I would just say like baseline he is good. Metal Cooler I would say is mid, and then the rest are bad. So we essentially you have three elite options: one good, one mid. I guess that's not the greatest odds ever. So it's what ten characters in total. Yeah, but I mean it's at a certain point I just don't believe that players are just going to be like yeah we're just indefinitely saving our stones forever. I mean, who am I kidding? All of y'all watching this, you guys get five stones and you do a single the second you get five stones, right? 